Today's Daily Dose of Math is about fraction problems where we have to simplify our answers. This can get a little bit confusing for students because there's more than one thing that you can do to simplify the answer to a fraction problem. An example I'm going to use is just this little multiplication, 7 eighths times 12 fifths. Now, we could do cancelling to start simplifying this now, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go straight into my multiplication because that's what most of my students would prefer to do. Multiplying is an easy one. Top times top gives new top. Bottom times bottom gives new bottom. 7 times 12 gives 84. 8 times 5 gives 40. We have an answer, and it's a correct answer, but it's not simplified. And if you're doing this type of course where you have to simplify your answers in order to get full marks, well, you want to do it. You want to get the full marks. What should I do first to this, though? Because there's two different things to do. I can convert the improper fraction into a mixed number, and I can reduce the fraction because 84 and 40 have common factor. I think I'm going to reduce first. The common factor of 84 and 40 is 4 which means I can divide both top and bottom by 4, and I get 21 tenths. I can't reduce it any further, but I can convert this improper fraction into a mixed number. And the way I'm going to do that is avoiding calculators. I'm going to do the phys ed class approach. We have a phys ed class and there are 21 students in it, but the teacher walks in and says, I want you to divide into groups of 10. So. Let's draw our 21 students. I'll put these little dots that represent each a student. That's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, they're dividing into groups of 10. They do that the way people do. They find their friends or they just grab the people that are closest to them. So let's draw a circle around 10 of these students. Uh, there we go, there's a group of 10. Let's draw another circle around another 10 students. Oh, I did it. Okay, uh-oh, what about this poor student here? That's the remainder. And that's all we need to know to be able to give our final answer to this problem. 21 tenths has two groups of 10. So the big number is a two. The 10 was a 10 up here, it stays a 10. And then the remainder is the new numerator. So. 21 tenths is 2 and 1 tenth. I could have done this with 84 over 40, but it's a little more confusing because the numbers are bigger. If I'm using this method, it takes a lot more drawing to draw 84 students. So it was easier to reduce the fraction first and then use whatever method I want to convert the improper fraction into a mixed number. I had to simplify my answer twice in two different ways. So we have to get used to this need when we start doing fractions problems. Even when you have a straightforward problem that's just asking you to show that you know how to do one operation, in this case multiplication, you have to check your answer and see if it can be simplified. And there are two different ways that we can simplify this. You have to know the techniques for both. You have to realize, okay, I simplified it, but wait, can I do more? That's always part of the process with simplifying. Simplify it, but then check to see if it can be further simplified. That is today's Daily Dose of Math. Please like, subscribe, and share.